What's your uh, plan? Oh, you filming? Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good morning. We're at Jim's Fish Camp. North, way north side of Pensacola. Winds water. are like 25 miles. Winds are blowing hard, and the water's tow up. So we're gonna get some shrimp to try to tip the odds in our favor. We gotta get out of the wind. This is our best bet. We have to get out of the wind today. So this is a real protected area. What's happening? How you doing? Good. What's the name? This is Jared? Jared? Oh, Jake. Okay. Yeah, Jared's. Uh, All right. Hi, Tara. Nice, nice to meet you. you. This is Jake. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right, let's see what we can do today in this nasty weather. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell people about how weird you are. Where'd you say you student taught at? Brian High. Brian High. <laughs> All right, got the... How you like that pin fierce? Uh, I haven't tried it yet. Haven't tried it. I see you got the tactical angler clips, Justin. Oh, yeah. You like those things? First time using them. First time? Oh yeah. You see how easy it was to snap it on and off? Mm-hmm. Make, make it for fast bait changes. Yeah, especially with hard baits, man. Just cut, cut, mm -hmm. cut. Little spook. Love it. Excuse me, guys. I'm just cleaning y'all off for a second. Tried in 13. How you like that sucker? It's fast, huh? It's real fast. Like it. Travels real good too. Yeah, man. That's what that Revo reminds me of, is a like an OK 13, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same width, same uh, shape, basically. Got the Yeti on the back. Oh, you got to have lunch. You got a uh, Pin Fierce, too. Is that a combo? Yes, sir. Pin Fierce, Fierce combo? 4,000 combo. 4,000, nice. Y'all ready to do some bass fishing, I can tell. <laughs> That's cool. Well, we got nasty conditions. It was in the 40s this morning. It's warmed up nice to the 50s. And um, we're in a brackish water area, trying to stay protected from a 15 mile an hour east wind. So this is about the best we could do today with this strong wind. So we're gonna work this river. Never know what's in here. There's black bass, hybrid striper, true striper, big ones, and uh, redfish, some trout, and a lot of sheephead. So, hey, that's mine. Ready, Teresa? Yeah, Mother Teresa? Now this is different. Teresa actually hooked up first. y'all the fish hound just hung a big sheep head and she's over there chunk look at her with the backwater paddle another use for the backwater paddle she's uh knocking barnacles off chumming it up so you doing all this area right here okay That's a, uh, that's a true striper. You ever caught a striper? Yes. Somebody caught a 28 pounder here this winter. Really? Yeah, they get massive. That's your first striper? It's saltwater. It's saltwater striper, yeah. It's not a hybrid. That's not a hybrid. That's how the lines were real straight. Now hybrid is a cross between that and a white bass. Okay. Yeah, so a little different. But we have, they have both of them in here. I didn't realize it at the time, but this guy was totally legal. Oh, 
Well, there you go. It don't matter because he got. <laughs> that sucker jumped right out of my hand and bounced off Teresa's boat. Back in the water. <laughs> he jumped right out of my hand. He wanted to go back in bad, didn't he? Mine didn't make it in the boat. Yep. We're just pecking the pilings today. You gonna bang bang the pilings with your backwater paddle? Yeah. Chum. Chumming. She's banging the barnacles off the pilings and it sends out a little plume of chum and uh, gets the sheep head all worked up and the other species in here. We'll see what happens. Oh, stop. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. What's going on? What? <laughs> What's the names? Eddie. Nathan. Where y'all from? Uh, I just moved, moved here from Colorado Springs. Really? Yeah, in October. Come on. So, nice. Turn it up, man. That's a uh, change of pace. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Woo. You can't really better. <laughs> yeah, man. A lot, little warmer. Where are you from? Montana. Montana. You live here now? You live here? No, I'm going to move out for a job. Ah. Uh, Not quite yet. Have y'all done much fishing yet? Three mile. Any good? Any luck? Bull reds? Yeah, big ones. Nice. We tried to go last night, but it was just so too choppy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move spots. Try another bridge. Teresa's gonna go get us some fiddler crabs over there. We gave this brackish water river an honest effort. We pulled a few fish out of here, but we decided that we were going to have to go try the beachfront. Winter time is just about over and Teresa and I are missing that summertime topwater bite on the beachfront. You know the episodes where the bluefish and the skipjacks and the redfish are just blowing up in the surf. Bumped up to 5,000 reels today. This is a, this is a battle too, 5,000. McCain hot rod 7-3. A little more range. Let's see what happens. How's it going? Ty. Hi, Ty. I want you to. Hi, my name is Michael Dodd. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Pensacola, Florida. I am a local yokel. I have sand between my toes all the time. <laughs> and I'm out here with Ty and Teresa. And we're gonna go try to tear up some Pompano and Redfoot. There you go. You been watching a few of the episodes? Yeah, here and there, here and there. Talk me into buying tactical angler cups. You folks don't need that reaction, do you? Well, I got this purple thing on my hand. I touched this snail. Is that okay? As long as you're not swelling or is spreading up, you yeah. should be fine. It's just here and it's one of the vendor. Snail? Snail? I've never heard olive, of that. Olive, olive. Uh, you might want to Google it. Yeah. yeah. I know the cone shell. I'm going to take a better drill now. Yeah. Put antibacterial uh, stuff on it. Got the snail funk. Looks like there's a break in the sandbar right here, so we're gonna throw this before we go any further to the pass. Desperate to get a little jack or a bluefish to blow up on top, we're out here throwing. I think the water's still a little too cold. All right, good luck. We're All right, bud. Down, set up. Good luck. Just want to say thanks for the videos. Oh yeah, man. What's the name? Wes. Watching over a couple years. Now, yeah. So, yes, Where are you from? Here. You live Born here? Raised. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So. Nice. Uh, Actually, all kind of got me into kayak fishing a good bit. So, really? You got a kayak? Uh, Future Beach. Future Beach. I don't know what model, but I appreciate it, bud. Yeah, nice to meet you too, yeah. man. Spanish? I don't know. Uh oh. You might have found some Spaniard uh, treasure. Uh oh. Honey, that's serious. Can you put it in my. Yes, I can. Sandbar, tide. Just too far to cast to get past the breaker, so. Ah, let's try somewhere else. 
All right, spot number three. <coughs> I'm allergic to spring breakers. Well, this is why I was sneezing. We should probably stay away from the beach till like April 1st. We tried to fish in this mess, but two lifeguards ran us off. This is a no-go. There's lots of booty everywhere. Spring break, booty's in the air. <laughs> I heard a rumor they're catching some nice sheep head on the pier. Let's go check it out. No cobia yet? Not yet. I gave it about another week, two weeks. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna start then. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's see what they're catching out here. These pier fishermen are serious. When you see these long rods, with those nice van stall reels and a big old bucktail jig, you know what they're after. One thing and one thing only, cobia. I'm gonna catch a pompano or something. Sheep head. It's a good size sheep head. These were nice sheep head, and that's some good eating. Very nice. Drop the shrimp. Pulling them sheep head off that pier, piling. We're catching the sheep head on the piling. If I get one, I'll let you take a picture of it. Alright. You said they're spawning? Yeah, they're spawning. How you figured that out? Uh, when they come off the pylon, you'll see them like, get up in a big ball. It's a bunch of males uh, chasing a female. Cool. When the water's a lot clearer, you can see a lot better. Yeah, see how the other ones are chasing them? Oh, yeah. They're, I mean, usually if they're small like that, you don't really get chased through, but if you look like a good five, six pounder. Yeah. If we've learned anything, we've learned this. For late winter and early spring, if the redfish aren't up on the grass flats yet, and the Spanish aren't in the surf, the sheephead are in full swing around the bridge, pylons, and piers. Okay. 17? Yeah, I only got 10 pounds. No, it's not. I, don't, I think it's either 12 or 14. It's not a stick 17. Oh. Still. Yeah. Well, these boys are going to eat good tonight. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out.